good morning everyone welcome to my channel um as always praying that all is well with you guys and um thank you so much for each time that you guys click like and subscribe into a channel and of course word of mouth help so if you know anyone that hasn't um that our channel can benefit go ahead and let them know about it so that way they can uh tune in so yes i'm in nature i'm outside again <laughs> nature at its best um so it's interesting because i was studying this throughout the week and they come across and i just wanted to share with you guys because i was like oh my god so this is from this this passage here that i was studying is from it's uh from the book of deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19 and it's read and it said today i've given you the choice between life and death between blessing and curses oh that you would choose life so that you and your descendant might live. I love this because when I was studying this in depth, this is literally God talking to the um, to the Jewish people after he had freed them from Egypt, from Pharaoh, gripped. And they were in the desert and he's giving Moses this instruction to let them know like, what will you choose? Choose life or death choose blessing or cursed so what blows my mind and why i'm sharing this because i was thinking like wow and the bible it says that um and it says that god will bless you or you can also be cursed you can also be blessed from the first to the second to third generation but just like you could be blessed from the first to the second and the third generation you can also be cursed to the first and the second the third generation that blew my mom i was like oh my god so the, how we serve god will we leave our children that's that's why it's called a legacy when they said the legacy that your parents is leaving you the legacy that you're leaving your children so how you um worship god and how you present god to them and how you make sure that you have that personal relationship with god matter because in a family you can believe that you're cursed and you can get yourself involved in what you call witchcraft and then eventually when you get yourself involved in witchcraft then you feel like you need to protect your children you protect your family protect protect your bloodline and when you protect your bloodline you can have them be devoted to um whatever spirit whatever it is that you find yourself making ceremonial whatever you find yourself worshiping that's what you're going to leave for your children so i love how god is saying choose the life because when you choose god when you choose to to raise your children um in christianity when you choose to let them know that jesus is the only way to god the only way to heaven and that he is sitting at the right hand of the father and that he died on the cross you're giving your children life life more abundantly and you're also giving them life after this life is ending once they die and close their eyes they don't have to wonder well where am i gonna go like is there really a heaven or hell there is a heaven and there is a hell so you leaving your children that legacy of giving them life when you choose to worship and believe in god and have accept jesus as your personal savior that is life when you raise your kid in that same because the bible said um train up a child in the way that he or she should go when they grow up they will not depart from it so when you train them in god even though they may may scattered or even experience hardship or whatever it may they always going to come back because why that seed was planted and so when you choose cursing, you choose like, well, you know what? I'm going to believe in the stars. I'm going to worship the devil. I'm going to wear beads. I'm going to do seance. I'm going to do this and that. You choosing a curse. The devil will not tell you, I'm a curse. I'm going to take you to hell with me. My final destination is in the pit. My final destination is in the lick of fire. The devil's not going to tell you that. Because the one thing that he will make you feel like as if you're living a glorious life in this in this planet. Because this planet is decaying. if you guys didn't know that. It's, it's decaying. So the devil is going to make you feel like, well, you know, you have food to eat, you have enough money in the bank, you're comfortable, this and that. Yeah, as Christians, we have that also. But you know what? At the end, we know that who give us all of those things is Christ. Our life is in Christ. We live in Christ. And that without Christ having luxuries thing having big home having money in the bank it mean nothing because 
when you don't have God, there's that empty space of voidness. So the devil won't tell you that you choosing to worship him, you choosing to make sacrifice, you choosing the sun, the moon, the stars to worship them, a tree in the backyard, you choosing to make witchcraft seance. He's not going to tell you your end is in the pit of hell with him. And I always tell my friend, I'm like, you know, if in this world you go through trial and tribulation, you go through hardship, you go through just calamity sometime why would you want the final to also be painful and hurt let the final be joyness tranquility eternity with christ eternity with jesus christ eternity with the angel eternity in heaven that's what your thought and your final destination should be not you wake up in a lake of fire and you're burning and you're in pain no that's not life so i pray that this will be a blessing to you today i know it might be like you know but to me when i read it i was like wow so the same thing apply you know choose blessing choose curse choose life or choose blessing and choose nothing else i choose life and i choose blessing because i love my parents how they just you know they didn't clear up all the pathway but raising us into christianity was awesome and we choose my husband and i we choose to do the same thing with our children because we want to choose life listen this chocolate has to be in heaven it can be burning <laughs> so praying that this will be a blessing to you um as always when you guys watch any of the video in the channel if you guys have questions if you want to be like you want to hear uh i don't know a teaching on a certain topic go ahead and let us know um write it in the chat leave comments or anything and we'll go ahead and get to it somehow um, as always, thank you so much for each time that you guys click like and subscribe. And remember, word of mouth help share our channel and um, praying that God will bless you in return. So Heavenly Father, I pray that whoever get a chance to watch any other video on the channel, let it be a blessing and let your Holy Spirit speak. Remember, Christ is the only way to heaven. So choose him in Jesus name. Amen. Till next time, I'll see you guys in another week. I'm ready to end it. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.